Hi, this is Pierre-Yves de la Côte, working at Planet Technologies. I wanted to talk about syncing your documents because there are a lot of misconceptions here and I just want to explain how it works. So you have probably you have a what Microsoft called a sync client, OneDrive sync client, which is here in the tray. Um, actually, I don't think it's a good name um, because this sync client is syncing not only OneDrive but also SharePoint and Teams. So, in your on your computer in Windows Explorer, you have probably two link one is OneDrive with the name of your organization and one is your name of organization so the this one is uh, the folder I synced in OneDrive which is everything and this one is the folders I synced in Teams or SharePoint so you can see that I have a lot of folders corresponding to different Teams or different SharePoint site actually um, they're all SharePoint sites because the files in Teams are stored in SharePoint. <coughs> so, as you can see, um, if I take a uh, folder, um, there's a status for every document. This means, this status means this document was synced to my computer. So it takes some space on my computer. Uh, but it also says that this document, if I don't open it um, frequently, then it will be released to the cloud and it won't be anymore on my computer, but I will be still able I still will be able to see it in my Windows Explorer. See if I really want this file to be always on my computer, then I can say <coughs> um, right clicking on the document, I can say I want to make it um, um, always on my on my computer. So if I click on this, you will see the status is now green. So it's on my computer and it will always will stay on my computer. For example, if I'm going to take the plane, I might want to do that on several documents to be sure they're, s they're on my computer when I'm flying. <coughs> As you can see also, there are other features in the Windows Explorer, so I can share directly my document, I can view it online, I can view the history, I can free up space for you know, if I feel that my computer is full, I can free up space and ask uh, the OneDrive Sync client to release some space. So, basically, here, whatever, let's try to uh, go in another folder, uh, maybe not this one. I need to find something that is uh, has been released, um, maybe here. So, you see here, there are some files I didn't open, so I can still see them, but they're not on my computer. They don't take space on my computer even if it says the size of the document, it's not actually on my computer. It's in the cloud, I can see it. If I open it, I will download it to my computer. So for example, if I click it, you see it's syncing, and now it's on my computer. So <coughs> be aware of uh, how this is working, because uh, you might think that uh, allowing Syncing on the desktop, especially with the, especially with OneDrive, you have one terabyte of uh, storage in OneDrive. So you might think that if people sync, they will uh, crash their computer with too many documents on their computer. But actually, it's not the case until they open the documents uh, or they force the documents to stay on their computer. That won't take that much of a space and even if they open a lot of documents, after a while it will release those documents if you don't open them, just like those one. They're in the cloud, they're not on my computer, but I can see them on my computer. 
So really, to have access to that, you need to enable the on-demand uh, functionality in OneDrive. So you be sure that you you have that kind of behavior. <coughs> so really, this is important to understand. And uh, you can have access to all the settings to OneDrive from this uh, icon here. Um, you can pause the thinking if you feel that uh, it take it's taking too much time or bandwidth or whatever. You can manage your storage. You can manage the settings. You can uh, have get help. There's everything uh, here in, in the settings. <coughs> And as you can see, the cloud storage I'm using is way more important than what is on my computer. Um, so you can also, uh, if you feel there's um, uh, a folder you want to get rid of and delete, that's where you're doing the delete. You n never delete, you should never delete a folder um, from a computer thinking that it only will delete the folder for you, it will delete for everybody who has access to the folder. So if you just want to save some space, another tip is to stop syncing your folder. You choose your folder, you stop syncing it, and then you can delete it, and then it won't have any impact, any impact on other um, other people who have access to the folder because the folder will only be deleted on your computer, not in the cloud. So <coughs> be aware of all the settings. Try to look at the settings that you have access to um, in, in, in OneDrive's Think Client, which again is not just for OneDrive. And be sure to activate this checkbox, File On Demand, because that's what makes uh, you know make you save some space um, by releasing the document that have not been open for a long time, and that only syncing documents that you open or you say you want to keep on your computer all the time. So that was a tip, and I think it's really important because there's a lot of confusion about all the sync client. I rather call it Think Client than Microsoft OneDrive Think Client because it's for everything. Teams, SharePoint, OneDrive. And know that it will save you a ton of space if you select files on demand. Hope it's helpful.